Hello friends, uh, this is guitarist Sergio Lara and welcome to this new video. Uh, today I'd like to talk about um, a scale and uh, right hand picking uh, inspired by uh, the band Shakti with John McLaughlin. The whole idea on this exercise is based on this scale which is very simple, which is... This is an E chord much used in flamenco and in um, Persian, you know, and, and uh, Indian, uh, you know, style music. And the scale is basically and uh, the scale goes like this. The metronome is at 160, and uh, you can start just by a right hand. In this particular style, the hardest part is really the control of the pick, you know, the being able to to have an even, even um, alternate picking um, movement with the with the down up down up down up I mean it gets it gets it takes you know a long time before you kind of cross that barrier of of speed uh, but you know I say it starts low uh, if you check out my video on alternate picking on adjacent strings uh, I talk about that you know the the hardest thing is just to be able to 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 um, to study the the movement to first you know kind of get it in your mind um, you know what are you going to be executing 
exactly and then trying to combine both hands and obviously everything starts slow and uh, with a metronome you know put the metronome with the, the fastest speed that you feel comfortable uh, in order to to um, to be able to to execute each note, the idea, you know, always is also to try to. I mean, the the notes go by very fast, but you need to you need to to be able to hear every note almost, you know, even if they go like super fast, but. <laughs> to be able to hear to hear it and uh, it's just a really wonderful feeling you know once you get you know to achieve that that speed and uh, you know to be able to play with the rhythms and then you know when you play with a drummer or with a percussion player or just anybody you know that is playing or even you know just on your own you know just trying to practice that you know the, the hand position um, I try to you know to keep these fingers uh, you know curled so I can concentrate on, 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 on having a really loose hand. And then, you know, in this, in this particular guitar, you know, there's, there's a finger rest here. Uh, it's not a pick guard, it's a finger rest. You know, that's why, because the action on these guitars is really, really high. So in order for you to have some kind of guide. So, so you probably see me just, you know, kind of like, you know, barely touching the finger rest, just kind of like to, to, to anchor my hand and measure uh, you know the distance between my fingers and the and the distance you know from the pick to the strings um, something that I haven't talked about before and something that is really important is I use this part of my hand you know this kind of like this ball of my of my uh, you know thumb uh, extension to anchor my hand and to rest it on the bridge you know kind of like a like a like a like an anchor, you know, here. This is kind of like my guide. But for me, you know, this is kind of like the school of John McLaughlin, you know, kind of like th that has that, uh, that control uh, um, movement anchored on the, on the bridge of the guitar. Uh, you know, it gives you, it gives you a little, uh, you know, a little leverage to, to be able to do it. And uh, I mean, it takes time, but you know, like everything, uh, use the, the position the hand position that is comfortable for you and you know just by trial and error you know, just try to see what's comfortable for you in order to be able to you know to to get that that movement and to get that speed flowing and the same with the pick you know i keep using these uh you know jazz three dunlops that uh, that i've used you know since they came out you know 30 years ago or maybe even longer than that i remember going to a, to a store I, I used to play um i used to play with a fender heavy or a Fender medium, you know, just regular teardrop picks that, that you were able to, to buy everywhere. And I remember going to a store and a friend of mine that was working there, he told me, hey, look at these picks that, that they came out with. <clears throat> the very, my first feeling was, wow, what a, what, a, what a thick pick. And also, you know, how small, you know, this is tiny. I'm, I'm never gonna be able to, to control, you know, to be able to play with it. You know, many players use it just because it's just a really good design. But, but like I say, I mean, just you know, use whatever's comfortable for you. The same with strings, you know, I use just one gauge, you know, uh, you know, once I find my, my, my favorite one, uh, in this particular case, you know, it's, uh, it's just a regular uh, 10 to 46 um, uh, with, a, with a plain third string that I use on this guitar. This is a one, this is a, a 1964 ES-175 guitar that I've used for many years that I've had, and uh, it's one of my it's my main electric guitar. Sometimes I practice on this guitar just acoustic without plugging it in. In fact, you know, I'm almost always practice acoustic without plugging in. But anyway, you know, this is uh, that particular one, and it's uh, very tricky, and it takes a while to get used to, but practice it, and uh, leave me your comments and your uh, questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon on a new video and good luck with your playing. Thank you.